I've just always been somebody who has sang in a choir in, in the Catholic church that I was in and just had such a love of worship and music. So when I first came to New Testament church, I just remember feeling like the worship just was like I had come home. But the problem I had was that everybody was worshiping up front and, there, and I remember looking in the back of the church to see if there was that choir loft which was my comfort zone and there wasn't and because of um, just my own bondages uh, where I was at at that point. I was born with one hand, so I only, you know, I have my elbow here. For me to sing in front of everybody and to think about holding a microphone or clapping in front of everybody, it was just like, I couldn't do it. When you give your life over to God and you come out of religion into relationship, which is what had happened to me, you know, God just began really showing me how much shame I had on my life. And one of the definitions I love about shame, it says you're where you feel hopelessly and uniquely flawed. And so for me, that's how I had felt my whole life, but a lot of times with shame you wear a mask, and so nobody would ever have known in my family or growing up how much I struggled with my insecurities about my arm. And so God just began to you know, slowly um, unzip that. One of my ungodly beliefs was I am deformed and different. And even when I would write that out, I'd be like, but I am deformed and different. This is different and this is, you know, a deformity at birth. And, but the whole problem was that, that I am part, that that's who I was, that that was my identity. God just began to show me that that's not who I am. That's like a fact about me, just like my hair color is brown, but it's not who I am. And who I am is a child of God, fearfully and wonderfully made. It was such freedom. I mean, and now, I mean, for those of you who don't know, I lead worship here. I am just super free during worship. I don't care if I look like this or clapping or anything because I'm just so in love with Jesus. The most exciting part to me when you come into freedom is that you're not focused on yourself anymore. It gave me a heart for other people, to see other people come out of shame-based thinking and um, just to just really want to see people line their thinking up with what Jesus says and thinks about us.